Halloween is only a week away, and creepy decorations like these are simple to create and make a spooky addition to any haunted house or Halloween bash. Today I'm going to show you how to make a spider egg, just like that one right there, a fabulous spider egg. Um, very large for that little spider, but uh, <laughs> Halloween, anything goes. So this is really a fun and, and really interesting uh, procedure. Um, take a bottle, any plastic bottle, put uh, eight ounces of plaster of Paris in the bottom and add four ounces of water. This can be just room temperature water. And uh, the reason we're using a bottle is because it eliminates the need to stir. You can shake instead of stir. And put that on tightly and just shake it up until the plaster of Paris is completely dissolved. Excellent. Now pour this into a balloon by putting the balloon tightly around the neck of the bottle and you pour the plaster of Paris into the balloon. Mmm, I love this. This is so much fun. And it's good to have a flexible bottle like this to make sure you get all the plaster of Paris into the balloon. Come on. Oops. Ooh. So you never know what's going to happen. I think that's pretty much it. So then now release it off the top of the bottle, if you can. And... Oh, it's very full. Now you insert your balloon. Uh-oh. Why is it leaking all over the place? I was told it would leak a little bit. But not that I've tried this before. <laughs> Why well, try anything before? Now blow it up. Look, it's working. Oh, great. Now. Take it off, and if you can, tie it. Tie a nice tight knot. Now, does anybody getting the, getting the procedure? This makes sense, really, when you think about it. Okay, there. Now, you just shake and coat the whole inside of the balloon. Keep doing it for about eh, a couple hours. <laughs> no, no, it, does, it doesn't take that long, actually, because plaster of Paris really does um, harden very, very quickly. So what you're doing is making the eggshell inside this beautiful balloon. And you keep doing this and doing this, and now when you can't hear it, see it's almost un not shaking anymore. You don't hear it moving around. It's coating that whole balloon, but you have to really keep doing this until you don't hear it anymore. Then you put that into a tub of water. If you put it in on a hard surface, it would get flat on one side. So you want it floating, and just keep moving it around a little bit if you think that it isn't, um, isn't setting correctly, but it sets very nicely. And then here's one that's been sitting there for a while. Let's see what happens. Just take a little X-Acto knife and just carefully cut away the balloon and look what you have. You don't need an ostrich egg. You don't need a real spider's egg. You just have your own little plaster of Paris egg that you have created. Come on. Come off. Yep, there. There you have this beautiful egg. Isn't that great? And now comes the hard part. You have to make an opening in it. And you don't, oh, here's an opening right here. No, nope, that's not an opening. Just cut into the plaster just a little bit. And you just keep cutting away until you get an appropriate sized opening. Don't drop this on the floor because it will break but you want to make an opening that looks as if a spider has emerged naturally. Shake out all the stuff. You can even hit it a little bit with a hammer to break. See, that works really well. There. And once you get your opening, then you can just apply, we'll use this one, just apply a spider somewhere. Just open. Yes. We'll just put a little glue here and a glittered spider and stick it here or there. But what's fun is to insert a light. Where's the green lights? Here? Oh, yeah. We're just going to use a little light stick. 
Pardon? Oh, here. Mm. Break the stick, shake it. Mm. Put it inside our little egg. Retrieve the spider that has fallen off. And there you have it. It worked.